extra fine. You guys have all heard about it. If you guys have been in the gaming scene for the last couple of days or even the last couple of months, if you guys have heard about X Defiant being the Call of Duty killer. But the question is, is X Defiant really the Call of Duty killer? Well, in today's video, that's what we're going to discuss. We're going to look at both sides of this argument. X Defiant actually being a so-called Call of Duty killer and the other side of Call of Duty still remaining the top dog of the FPS category. If you guys enjoy this type of content and just X Defiant content overall, make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more of that content. I've also posted videos over the last couple of days on X Defiant. So if you guys want to check out those videos, that would be awesome. So before we really dive into it, if you're not really familiar with X Defiant, it's actually been in development for, I would assume, a few years. The first actual pre-alpha playtest was back in August of 2021, which I actually got to be a part of. And I will say the game was a lot different then than it is now, of course. And I really think it has improved quite a bit from when I played that playtest. And of course, X Defiant is an arcade shooter developed by you. Ubisoft, it definitely is more of an arcade shooter than Call of Duty in the most recent years. What makes X Defiant unique is it actually features a mashup of characters and factions from other various Ubisoft franchises. So let's dive into how X Defiant could be the potential Call of Duty killer. Well, I think X Defiant really brings back that real and authentic arcade style FPS feeling to a video game. It feels like we truly haven't seen that over the last couple of years of just new games releasing and just from other FPS games, especially like Call of Duty. If you haven't really played X Defiant, it truly has just a unique feeling to the game with its movement, the way the guns feel, and just kind of just the overall aesthetics of the game. Just something about it, I mean, I truly admire. The next thing is the potential and just possibilities of endless customization and content this game could bring in the future. And if you guys don't know, X Defiant is developed by Ubisoft. Literally in their game, the factions all come from different Ubisoft franchise games. Like if you go into the factions section on X Defiant, you can see where all the different factions come from some come from the tom clancy side of things some come from far cry some come from watchdogs you name it and i think just with that this game has endless amount of content to bring even more different factions from other sides of the ubisoft universe the next thing is just the passion that i've seen from the two main developers that i've seen on social medias obviously there are more developers for x defiant but if you haven't really been following the x defiant stuff on twitter the two main you know talkative people about x defiant and the two main developers that have been behind X Defiant giving updates is Mark Rubin and Aix. Not to mention both those developers have really good track records in the Call of Duty scene. Mark Rubin was an Infinity Ward executive producer until early 2015. He also modeled the soldiers on the covers of both Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, which I think is pretty cool. And Mark Rubin really has been a big voice for X Defiant, just giving a ton of updates, which you really haven't seen with Call of Duty and really honestly any other FPS games. And if you guys don't know Aix, he was a longtime Call of Duty professional player. He was a 24 14 and 2018 world champion and he's also a game developer for x defiant and just like mark rubin aix has also been a really good voice for x defiant just you know posting about updates of the game things that are broken things that they're looking into it's just really nice to see that from a just a game franchise which it feels like i haven't seen that in a very long time especially with call of duty and of course just ubisoft's track record overall sure they've had some bad moments and i mean every gaming studio has had bad moments and just bad experiences like for instance do you remember Hyperscape, that Battle Royale game? Well, that game was developed by Ubisoft. That game had a ton of hype over it in the span of a couple of months. And then shortly after that, the game just died off. They also announced, I think a few years ago, that they just basically closed down the servers for that game. So that game literally just died. But just like Call of Duty, there are dedicated fans of Ubisoft games. And I think with just that backing it, this game could succeed in that way. So now let's go over reasons why x Defiant might struggle to take down this Call of Duty giant. As we know, Call of Duty has really just been the face of just FPS games for like basically 20 years at this point. And with that is brand loyalty. Call of Duty has built just a loyal fan base over the last like, you know, 20 years or however long the franchise has been out for with millions of players invested into the franchise. And being able to break that loyalty just won't be easy. Many fans may be hesitant to abandon the familiar Call of Duty experiences that they've been experiencing for, you know, again, the last 20 years. Like I bet in person, you could go up to any random stream Stranger, ask them if they know what Call of Duty is or if they've heard of Call of Duty and nine times out of ten I bet they'll say yes they've heard of it in some aspect. Despite X Defiant being unique in its own ways with just how the gameplay feels being an arcade style shooter a lot of people are really just used to the familiarity of how Call of Duty has been over the last you know 15-20 years. Sure Call of Duty has gone from you know boots on the ground to jetpack games to boots on the ground games
games, but people are still familiar with the feeling of Call of Duty and just kind of the franchise behind it. And especially like nostalgic purposes, some people just might prefer sticking with what they know and love. Like most of the dedicated Call of Duty players might try X Defiant, right? But most of like the, what I've been calling them, just like the normal, just average Call of Duty players won't move over to a different game and just stick with that full time. I think X Defiant really does cater to a specific niche audience that really likes those arcade style FPS games with decent movement and things like that. And you know, those Call of Duty players are gonna stick to their roots. The next thing is with X Divine being a beta, that game currently has a lot of problems. Like you could go to either Mark Rubin or Ake's Twitter page, go to their tweet replies and see them replying to people with problems with X Divine, including server issues, bugs, you know, aim assist, keyboard and mouse issues of what I've, I've seen also, and just many more visual bugs with the game. A lot of people are saying that this game is too early to even release in, you know, later this summer of 2023. If it were me, I would definitely extend this current open beta to an extra day because of the people that were having those server issues. And then I would honestly even look into doing another play test open beta play test in like later July or early August. From there, they could potentially iron out the bugs. But yeah, as of right now, x Fine does have a lot of issues have they fixed a lot of them like mainly the netcode issues sure but yeah like i said x Defiant still has a lot of issues that they gotta iron out of course call of duty has their own issues but i mean call of duty has so many more developers backing that side of things that most of the time with those issues they can resolve them with an update in the future like in a couple of days where with x Defiant, it could honestly take a while the last thing is just the competitive landscape overall call of duty has built such a huge competitive landscape i mean just million dollar price pools for different tournaments not to mention just the fps market overall is currently saturated with other fps games in that competitive landscape like apex legends valorant csgo just so many more and i think with that it could be very hard for x divine to squeeze into that competitive landscape and there truly is so much more i could go over on each side x divine being the call of duty killer call of duty just remaining the top dog in the fps category and with x divine being so early i mean it's still in an open beta we don't even have the full release yet the full releases apparently later this summer however it's clear that the verdict is still uncertain x Fine has the potential to shake up the fps genre with its unique features and ubisoft's reputation for creating immersive multiplayer experiences however call of duty just has a long legacy loyal fan base and just a better competitive landscape overall i will say i'm excited for x Fine's future to see what they can go off of with this open beta and for you know the future full release of the game if you guys enjoyed the video drop a like subscribe if you want more and i'll catch y'all later take care everybody